fractal design is inherent in nature and uh, it's a means of developing decentralization. I think decentralized systems are fractal and centralized systems are not fractal in the way that they're designed. Um, and you know, one of the properties of a fractal system is itself similar. So I've alluded to making EOS a DAO of DAOs or DAC of DAC, which is in line with the democracy of democracies. Uh, what I mean by that is that um, the EOS blockchain needs to be governed. And if there's a whole bunch of different DACs that are all running on top of the EOS blockchain, they're kind of like a bunch of countries on a continent. Uh, and they, each country needs to come together in a, in a federation to govern the continent or the infrastructure that they all share. So uh, where I see things going with EOS is it's governed by each of the major DACs and a representative uh, or has a vote on major infrastructure. Stated another way, if you're a bunch of businesses and you're all sharing the same mall, well, you probably want to have some kind of governance structure over um, how, they, how the mall operates that gives every single business in the mall a say because the businesses are the ones that are sharing the infrastructure. They all, what happens there impacts everyone. So that's the you know, self-similar pattern where you've got a democracy of DACs and then within each DAC uh, modeled after Eden, um, you have a democracy of people um, and then uh, so on. So with respect to Mandel, well, that's the, that's the core software that all this is running off of. Uh, we needed a name. We picked a name that uh, paid homage to the fractal decentralization, the self-similar uh, as above as below, where you can keep zooming in. Um, another property of fractals is that each one is independent uh, as possible. Um, and that's what actually little, yields the decentralization. You have a democracy of democracies. You don't have people directly governing EOS, you have the DACs that the people are part of governing EOS. So that's what I'm uh, advocating for. And that's what I'm working with the EOS Network Foundation uh, to build out with uh, Eden 2.0 and beyond. So I'm very excited about that. And uh, there'll be a lot more to uh, hear about the fractal nature of, of designs uh, as my forthcoming white paper is about to be released.